We're going to reduce the number of Kanban stations 1 and 2 and we're going to try this configuration. So we go to our model and we reset it. We have 2 and 2 and we can run the model again and we expect to have a reduction in the stock for stations 1 and 2 and what we do not know if that will have an impact or not on our service level in our income because we might be losing some demand and we need to, get to check if that is the case because we've seen now that we have a reduction in, in, in the average value of the stock in 2 and the same with workstation 2 which is something we might expect we still have a very good service level okay, and we have increased our, uh, our benefit because we've maintained the income and the stock cost has been reduced so we have a value for, for our benefit of, 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 of 32 which is a, a better value, oh sorry, I'll, I'll go to the month average, 27,000. So we still have a, a, a good income, but we've reduced the stock cost, okay? And we've reduced the, the average working process. So we can check that we have a larger benefit because we still have a very good income, very much the same as in the other scenarios. And the reduction in cost hasn't damaged the, the service level and that has a, a, an impact, a positive impact on the benefits. We have a weak reduction of two as we expected. Workstation three, there's a table here, still is working 100% of the time. And the average stock in workstation two and three is larger than one. So we might think about what would happen if we would reduce the number of companies in those stations to one. So we're going to, to try that. 